Welcome to all. A very good afternoon to all. Welcome you all in the ISFCP dialogue series under the edges of IQAC, IAC, ISFCP, organized by ISF College of Pharmacy and Autonomous College Moga Pandra. Today's guest and speaker, Ms. Seema Birad, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacognosy, and the title of her talk is Importance and Effectiveness of Herbal Medicine. I welcome Seema, Madam, and you are requested to please proceed further. Thank you, Dr. Siddharth Mehan. Myself, Seema Brar, Assistant Professor in the Department of Pharmacognosy. Today, I welcome you all in the ISF-CP dialogue series under the ages of IQAC, IIC, ISF-CP that is organized by ISF College of Pharmacy. So, my today's topic is importance and effectiveness of herbal medicines. So, before starting my lecture, I introduce my table of content. First is introduction, history, scope of herbal medicines, herbs as food supplements, how do herbs work, then medicinal uses of herbal medicines, importance of herbal medicine over conventional medicine, drugs from plant sources, how do herbal medicines sold in stores, and utilization of herbal medicine in future. So first, we discuss about the introduction. As all you know that herbal medicines, also known as herbal remedies or herbalism, are traditional forms of herbal medicine yet utilize plants and plant extract for therapeutic purposes. Throughout human history, people have relied on the medicinal properties of various plants to treat illness and promote overall well-being. Herbal medicines are found in different cultures worldwide and have been used for thousands of years. The use of herbs in medicine is based on the belief that plant possesses natural compounds that can influence the body's physiological functions and help restore balance and health. These natural compounds such as alkaloids, flavonoids, terpenes and phenolic compounds can have medicinal properties and interact with the human body in different ways. Herbal medicines can be prepared and administered in various forms that is including teas, tinctures, capsules, powders, extracts, and other topical applications. The specific preparation method that depends on the plant and the desired therapeutic effect. One of the key principles of herbal medicine is the idea of holism, which considers the whole person rather than just treating symptoms or specific conditions. Herbalists often take into account an individual overall health, lifestyle, and emotional well-being when formulating the treatment plan. It is important to note that while herbal medicines can be beneficial, they should be used with caution. Some herbs may, may have potent effects and can interact with medications or have adverse effects, that is, if used improperly. Therefore, it is advisable to consult with a qualified herbalist or healthcare professional before using herbal remedies, especially if you have pre-existing medical conditions or taking prescription medication. History. The history of herbal medicine dates back thousands of years and spans across various civilizations and cultures around the world. Here is a brief overview of the history of herbal medicine. First is ancient civilization. Herbal medicine has its roots in ancient civilizations such as Egyptians, Sumerians, Babylonians, and Chinese. These civilizations documented their knowledge of medicinal plants on clay tablets and papyrus. For example, the Eber papyrus in ancient Egyptian medical text dating back to around 1500 BCE and contains information on the use of herbs for treating various ailments. Traditional system of medicine, such as Ayurveda in India and traditional system of medicine, have a rich history of using <laughs> herbal remedies. Ayurveda, which oriented from 5000 years ago, incorporated vast era of medicinal plants and herbal formulation to restore balance and harmony within the body. TCM dating back over 2500 years employs herbs 
as a part of holistic approach to health and uses complex herbal formulations that is based on individualized diagnosis. <coughs> Middle Ages and Renaissance. During the Middle Ages, knowledge of herbal medicine was preserved and expanded upon by monastic communities, particularly in Europe. Herbalists and healers relied on herbal remedies to treat a variety of alignments. The Renaissance period saw a resurgence of interest in herbal medicines with the publication of herbal tracts such as Herbarium and the Great Herbal. And after the Middle Ages, the next is modern era. In the 19th and 20th centuries, advancements in chemistry and pharmacology led to the isolation and synthesis of active compounds from plants, resulting in the development of modern pharmaceutical drugs. However, herbal <laughs> medicine continued to be practiced in various parts of the world, particularly in traditional medicine systems. Today, herbal medicine continues to be used worldwide with a renewed interest in natural and holistic approach to health. Scientific research is exploring the efficacy and safety of herbal medicines and some herbal remedies have been incorporated into mainstream healthcare system as complementary and alternative medical options. <laughs> then after the history, next is scope of herbal medicines. The scope of herbal medicine is broad and encompasses various aspects of healthcare and well-being. So here are some key areas where herbal medicine find application. That is first is traditional system medicine. Herbal medicine play an important role in traditional system of medicine worldwide, such as Ayurveda, traditional Chinese medicine, Yunani, and indigenous healing practices. These systems utilize herbs as a part of holistic treatment approaches to address a wide range of health conditions. The next is primary health care. Herbal medicines are often used as primary health care option, especially in rural and developing areas where access to conventional medicine may be limited. Herbal remedies can provide relief for common alignments like cold, digestive issues, minor injuries, and skin conditions. Then next is complementary and alternative medicine. Herbal medicine are commonly used as complementary or alternative therapies alongside conventional medicine. Many individuals seek herbal remedies for chronic conditions such as arthritis, insomnia, anxiety, menopause, to complement their conventional treatment plans. After complementary nutrition supplements, herbal medicines are often incorporated into nutrition supplement. Certain herbs are rich in vitamins, minerals, antioxidant, and other beneficial compounds, making them popular ingredients in natural supplements aimed at promoting overall health and well-being. Next is cosmetic and skincare products. As all of you know that herbs are frequently used in cosmetic and skin products nowadays due to their beneficial properties. Because herbal extract and essential oil that is incorporated into products such as lotions, creams, serums, and soap to provide nourishment, moisturization, and other side benefits. Herbs as food supplements. Herbs can indeed be used as food supplements to enhance nutrition and promote over well-being. Here are some key points regarding the use of herbs as food supplements. First is nutritional value. Many herbs are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making them valuable addition to the diet. For example, herbs like parsley, slintero, and dill are excellent sources of vitamin C, A, and K, while herbs like thyme and oregano contain significant am amount of iron and calcium that is including herbs in your meal that can provide additional natural benefits. So this is all about the nutritional value. After nutritional value, we come to flavor and aroma. Herbs add distinct flavors and aromas to culinary dishes, enhancing the sensory experience of food. Using herbs as food supplements allow you to incorporate diverse flavors into your meals without adding excessive salt, sugar, or any unhealthy fat. This can contribute to be a more enjoyable and satisfying eating experience. Next is digestive support. Certain herbs such as ginger, peppermint, and fennel are known for their digestive properties. They can help alleviate symptoms like bloating, indigestion, and nausea. Adding these 
herbs to your meals or consuming them as a herb these can support healthy digestion after digestive support we come to anti inflammatory and antioxidant benefits many herbs possesses anti inflammatory and antioxidant properties for example turmeric contain curcumin that a compound known for its anti inflammatory effect including turmeric in your diet as a spice or taken it as a supplement can help combat inflammation similarly herbs like rosemary sage and other green tea contain antioxidants that can protect the body against free radical damage then next is herbal infusions and tea herbal infusions and tea are popular ways of incorporating herbs into the diet these beverages can be enjoyed hot or cold and provide a convenient and enjoyable method of obtaining the benefits of various herbs for example chamomile tea is known for its calming properties while peppermint tea can aid digestion then after this next come to how to herbs work so first is active compounds that can that herbs contain a wide area of naturally occurring compounds such as alkaloids flavonoids terpenes phenolic compounds and other essential oils these compounds can have physiological effect on the body for example alkaloids like caffeine in coffee or tea can stimulate the central nervous system while flavonoids in plants like green tea and berries act as a antioxidant so the active compounds in the herbs can play a very different role then after this next is pharmacological actions many herbs exert pharmacological actions on specific body system for instance herbs like chamomile and valerian have calming and sedative properties that affecting the cns system then garlic and hawthorn have cardiovascular benefits supporting heart health then herbs like ginger and peppermint have anti nausea properties adding digestion modulation of enzymes and receptors certain compounds in herbs can interact with enzymes and receptors in the body that is influencing various physiological processes for example curcumin that is found in turmeric can help in inflammation scent john ford and herbs used for mood support can affect serotonin receptors in the brain next is antimicrobial and antiviral effects some herb possesses anti microbial and anti viral properties that is helping to fight against certain pathogens for instance garlic has been traditionally used for its anti microbial effects valerstinia has believed to stimulate the immune system and help to combat with the viral infection then next is adaptogenic properties certain herbs known as adaptogens have the ability to support the body's ability to stressors and promote overall digestion adaptogen like ashwagandha rhodolia ginseng are thought to help the regulate the stress response system and enhance the body resistance to stress then after this the medicinal uses of herbal medicines herbal medicines have a wide range of medicinal uses and are employed to address various health conditions here are some common medicinal uses of herbal medicines that can be mentioned below then first is digestive disorders Many herbs are used to support digestive health and address digestive disorders. That is, ginger and peppermint can help relieve nausea and indigestion. Chamomile and fennel are known for their calming and soothing effects on the digestive system. Next is respiratory conditions. For the respiratory conditions, herbs are utilized in the treatment for the respiratory conditions such as coughs, cold, and bronchitis. In this condition, eucalyptus thyme licorice root are among the herbs commonly used for the expectorant and soothing properties next is sleep and relaxation certain herbs possesses calming and sedative properties that is making them useful for promoting sleep and relaxation uh, and for this herbs used as a valerian chamomile passion flower and lavender are often employed to support restful sleep and ease anxiety after this immune support many herbs have a immune enhancing properties and are used to support the immune system echinacea elderberry and asparagus are well known examples used to help strengthen the body natural defense mechanism then pain and inflammation herbs can be used to alleviate pain and reduce inflammation willow bark for resin instance contain talisman which is a precursor to aspirin and has analgesic and anti inflammatory properties 
Turmeric and ginger are also renewed for their anti-inflammatory effects. Then stress and anxiety. Adaptogenic herbs are often employed to help the body to cope with the stress and promote emotional event. Ashwagandha, Rodlia, and holy basil, that is Tulsi, are examples of adaptogenic herbs that is used as for their calming and stress-reducing effects. After this, next come to importance of herbal medicine over conventional medicine. When considering the importance of herbal medicine over allopathy, it's essential to acknowledge that both approaches have their merits and limitations. But here are some factors that highlight the importance of herbal medicine, that is natural and holistic approach. Herbal medicine often takes holistic approach to health, considering the interconnectedness of the body, mind, and environment. It focuses on supporting the body's initiate feeling abilities rather than suppressing their symptoms. Herbal remedies are derived from natural sources such as plants and often perceived as a gentler and more aligned approach with nature. After natural and holistic approach, we come to traditional wisdom and cultural significance. Herbal medicines draws on centuries or over even million of traditional knowledge passed down through generations. It carries the wisdom of various cultures and the unique understanding of medicinal plants. This knowledge is often deeply rooted in cultural practices and indigenous traditions contributing to the preservation of natural heritage. After this, accessible and affordable. In many parts of the world, herbal medicine remains a primary form of health care due to its accessibility and affordability. And the medicinal plants are often readily available in local environment or can be cultivated, making herbal remedies more accessible to communities with limited access to conventional healthcare system or pharmaceuticals. After this, come to potential for fewer side effects. Herbal medicines, when used appropriately under professional guidance, are generally considered to have a lower risk of adverse effects, that is compared to some pharmaceutical drugs. However, it's important to note that herbal medicines can still interact with medications and individual sensitiveness and allergies can happen. Consulting a healthcare professional or herbalist is crucial for safe and effective use. The next is prevention and wellness promotion. Herbal medicines emphasizes prevention and overall wellness promotion. Many herbs possess properties that support and enhance general health, boost the immune system, aid in stress management, and the herbal medicine often focuses on lifestyle adjustments, dietary modification, and herbal supplementation to maintain and optimize well-being. Then after the, this, importance and effectiveness of herbal medicine. So first is historical significance. Herbal medicines have been used for thousands of years and played a main role in traditional system of medicine. This historical significance demonstrates the long-standing trust and belief in the healing properties of medicinal properties. Natural and plant-based herbal medicines are derived from plants, making them natural and sustainable. Many people appreciate the idea of using remedies that come directly from nature, so they often perceive them as a gentle, holistic, and aligned with the body natural healing process. After this wide range of applications, herbal medicines can be used to address the broad spectrum of healthy conditions. They have been traditionally employed to alleviate symptoms, support various body systems, promote overall well-being, maintain health, the versatility of herbs allows for their use in multiple therapeutic areas. Then active constituents, herbs contain numerous amount of compounds that is alkaloids, flavonoids, phenolic compound and oils. These compounds exhibit various physiological effects in the body such as antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial and immune enhancing properties. Holistic approach, Herbal medicine take a holistic approach to health considering the interconnectedness of the body, mind, and environment. It aims to address the root causes of health imbalance rather than elevating system, promote overall well-being, and support the body natural system mechanism. Individualized treatment. Herbal medicines offers the potential for personalized treatment plans. Herbalists consider an individual unique characteristics, symptoms, and overall health status when formulating a herbal remedy. This personalized approach allows for tailored treatment strategies that take into account an individual's specific needs. Next is drugs that is obtained from plant sources. 
Numerous drugs used in modern medicine are derived from plant sources. These drugs are often isolated, purified, and standardized versions of specific compounds found in plants. Here are a few examples of drugs that originate from plant sources. First is aspirin. Aspirin are widely used medication for pain relief and reducing inflammation. That is, was originally derived from a salicin, a compound that is found in the bark of willow trees. Salicin was used in traditional medicine for centuries before it was synthesized into the acetyl salicylic acid compound we know as aspirin. Next is digoxin. Digoxin is a medication used to treat heart conditions such as congestive heart failure and certain arrhythmias. It is derived from the foxglove plant that is Ditalis, Ditalis purpurea, which has been used in traditional medicine for its cardiac effects. Digoxin is the cardiac glycoside that helps improve heart function. Next is Taxol, generic name is Paclitaxel, is a chemotherapy medication that is used in the treatment of various types of cancer, including breast, ovarian, and lung cancers. It was initially isolated from the Pacific U2, that is Texas Duifolia, and is now produced synthetically. Taxol interferes with the growth of cancer cells by inhibiting cell division. Then next is morphine. Morphine is a powerful pain relieving medication that is derived from the opium poppy that is Papaver somniferum. It is classified as an opioid and is widely used for managing severe pain. Morphine and derivative have been used for pain relief for centuries. The next is Kunin. Kunin is a medication primarily used to treat malaria. It is derived from the bark of the cinchona tree, native to South America. Kunin has anti-malarial properties and has been used for centuries in traditional medicine to treat fever and malaria. The next is how to herbal medicines sold in stores. Herbal medicines are typically sold in stores in various forms, depending on the specific product and intended use. Here are some common ways. First is dried herbs. Many herbal medicines are sold in the form of dried herbs or herbal powders. This can include whole or cut herbs, leaves, flowers, roots, or barks. Dried herbs are often packed in bulk or individual portions and may be sold in loose form or pre-packed in a tea bag or sessions. Next is herbal extract and tinctures. Herbal extract and tinctures are a concentrated form of herbal medicines. They are typically made by extracting the active constant from the plant material using a solvent such as alcohol or water. These extracts are then usually packed in a small bottle with the droppers or spray drops for easy administration. They can be taken orally or added to the beverages or used topically. Then herbal capsules and tablets. <coughs> Many herbal medicines are formulated into capsules or tablets for convenient and precise dosing. The herbs are often dried, powdered, and mixed with other ingredients to form the capsules or tablets. These products typically come in standardized dosage and packed in bottles or blister packs. Herbal teas. Herbal teas are a popular form of herbal medicine that involves stepping dried herbs or herbal blends in hot water. They are often sold in pre-packaged tea bags or loose form, allowing individuals to brew their own tea at home. Herbal teas may target specific health conditions or promote general awareness. Next is herbal balms, creams, and ointments. <coughs> herbal medicines intended for topical use, such as for skin conditions or muscle aches, are often formulated into balms, creams, and ointments. These products contain herbal extract or infused oils Combined with other ingredients for topical applications, they are typically packed in jars or tubes. Then next is utilization of herbal medicine in future. The importance and utilization of herbal medicines are expected to continue growing in the future due to several factors. Increasing interest in natural and holistic healthcare. There is a growing global trend towards a natural and holistic approach to healthcare. People are seeking alternatives to conventional medicine and interested in therapies that promote overall wellness and address the roots of health imbalance. Herbal medicines, with its focus on natural remedies and holistic principles, aligns well with this shift in healthcare preferences. Rising awareness of personalized medicine. Personalized medicine, which tailors treatment to individual factors and needs, is gaining recognition and importance. 
herbal medicines offers the potential for personalized treatment plans based on an individual constitution symptoms and specific health concerns by considering the unique aspects of each person herbal medicines can provide targeted and individualized care next is growing scientific research and evidence scientific research on herb herbal medicine is expanding providing a deeper and understanding of the mechanism and mechanism of action safety profiles and therapeutic pressure of various medicinal properties as more studies are conducted and evidence has accumulated herbal medicines can gain increased acceptance in conventional healthcare system rigorous scientific research will help establish the efficacy and safety of herbal medicine ensuring that the appropriate integration into a future healthcare practices the next is sustainable and environmental friendly practice Herbal medicine is often seen as the most sustainable and environmentally friendly healthcare option compared to the production and disposable of pharmaceutical drugs. The cultivation and harvest of medicinal plants can support ecological conservation efforts and the reliance on natural plant resources that promotes a more harmonious relationship with the environment. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Seema, for this wonderful talk. We are very thankful to all listeners. If you have any query, please mail your inbox in the chat of YouTube Live or visit our website www.iscp.org. Thank you, all listeners, and thank you, Seema, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.